every nation and every individual is at risk. Lagos is a city of Filmed in Lagos, Nigeria, 93 Days tells the true story of the men and women who risked their lives to stop the spread of the Ebola virus in 2014. Directed, produced, and distributed by Nigerians, but boasting a significantly bigger budget and audience than standard Nollywood fare, it's one example of what some in the film industry are calling the new wave of Nigerian cinema. Nollywood insiders say the genre seems set to evolve and diversify along with advancements in technology. Technology is like, you know, getting simpler and simpler to learn and to use. You know, I think that that's definitely helped in, in, in the outputs that we see. So the pictures are better, they're clearer. And it seems modern technology is also helping Nollywood draw audiences in on a more personal level. Social media is also pushing a lot. You know, so social media, you know, the, the cast are having their fan base, they're engaging with their fans, you know, um, they, they, they go to the cinema, they review the films. Those kind of things are, are really showing us that they're letting us know how big the audience for, for the industry is, and they're letting us know what they like and what they don't like. While that's driving some of the growth, Moses says it's also about the storytelling and a shift in thinking about the business of film. Our culture is rich, you know, the stories are there that have been untapped, untold, you know, uh, and we're just starting, we're just scratching the surface. We have, you know, 180 million people, but there are only 28 cinemas, you know, in the whole country. So, I mean, it's, if you just think about just even the growth potential for cinemas alone. And for many filmmakers, there's no better place to test that potential than at a film festival with keen viewers, like these New Yorkers. So I always look forward every year to, you know, to this film festival because they pick films uh, from a perspective that you can't get anywhere. And it's surprising how these wonderful films, you know, if you don't get them here, you're not going to get them on Netflix and, you know, certainly not in the movie theater. Although that's changing, with films from Nigeria and from other countries across Africa slowly starting to crop up on platforms like Netflix. Bigger budgets mean bigger audiences and vice versa, producers say. And it's festivals like this one that tend to set the stage for wider distribution. So with the spotlight on Nigerian film in Toronto and here in New York, it seems Nollywood is going global. Mimi Chahiman, CCTV, New York.